How are you doing, Joe Value here for Cold Bear Sports? Uh, before I touch on today's uh, couple of runners, I um, just wanted to let you know that um, I won't be working with uh, Cold Bear Sports anymore. Uh, I got an offer, to be honest with you, a bookmaker got in contact with me. I don't know how they even got my number, but um, I'm, they're going to give me a job odds compiling uh, for them. So I'm going working with the bookie. Uh, I know Paddy... Or Mad Merrigan will go nuts. I uh, haven't even said it to him. Uh, he's on the beer tonight, so I'm just going to let him find out the same way as yourselves are finding out. But I'm on, I want to just take this opportunity to say thanks very much. You know, it was a great opportunity for me, and uh, I enjoyed the three days. But uh, an offer I couldn't refuse. You know, I have a, a wife that likes buying expensive shoes, and I have a young lad to look after as well. So, uh, you know, as I said, you know, thanks, but uh, the journey has uh, been a short one, but it's been a very enjoyable one, so I appreciate that. Thanks. I'm only cutting, I'm only cutting you. Joe Value here for Cold Bear Sports. <laughs> We're still in the game. We're all right. Uh, great day today. Obviously, uh, High Street Roller uh, winning, just holding on in the end, but uh, I thought after, I thought after, um, 100 yards I said to myself oh, we're, we're away here this is going to be happy day she jumped the front jumped uh, the first in front and then um, what happens then some rag comes up and takes her on and she got a bit unsettled she was running a bit free but fair play to Darrell O'Keefe you know he took up the running again jumping there I think she jumped to the front I told you her jumping was unbelievable uh, she jumped, jumped to the front I think at the third hurdle and uh, Dara slowed it up again then, got a bit of a breather into her. And uh, she jumped away brilliant and held on. Uh, so that was brilliant. And um, fair play to Anne-Marie Quinlan and Jack Ryan for breeding her. She was just my neighbours, as I was telling you yesterday. And I believe there's a, a two-year-old called uh, half-brother. Uh, he might be for sale. He's by famous name, yes. I was looking at him there today. He's a beautiful horse. So uh, it's exciting times. There's another chap, a friend of mine, has a uh, half-sister to her. By um, Ooh, Jetaway. So, um, yeah, let's look forward to for the Queen Mother there. The Queen Mother herself. And Ring Street Roller. So, uh, yes, that was great. She won. And then, uh, what have we then? Um, winner takes all. Yeah. Um, Howie was 10 to 1. Uh, I don't know. The odds compiler must have been on the bottle for the week. But, um, you know, uh, well-backed and won very well. And I think they might be thinking about going for the Galway hurdle now. And uh, if he'd take a bit of beating in that, I'd say. But, uh, so that's the crack. Uh, on to tomorrow, so Sunday's selections. Uh, we'll start off in the 5.25 tomorrow. An interesting horse here. I fancy uh, number 11, Buckland is the name of it. Trained by Tony Mullins and ridden by Danny. Uh She's three, this horse, uh, Buckland, he's three things in common with uh, Princess Zoe. Uh, the trainer, obviously, same trainer. Uh, both of them are greys. And uh, both of them were purchased from Germany. And uh, Uckland is nowhere near as good as Princess Zoe. Never will be. But I just thought it was interesting. Um, he was favourite, odds on favourite, to win his first ever hurdle race. Um, in Gorham Park, it was a juvenile hurdle. Um, and it, you know, he didn't uh, pull up any trees and he hasn't been great in his three subsequent runs but I thought he did show a bit more in Down Patrick the last time he was staying on a bit and he got short of room uh, late on and you know it was just eye catching to me he looked like a horse that wanted to step up and trip that day and uh, you know Tremor here 2 mile 5 um, I think he's a chance anyway look it's a bad race but um he might just be ready to leave previous form behind and uh, small investment now, big odds. I think he's 16 to 1 at the moment. The lads will sort this out in the description. But he's around 16 to 1 and then we'll go a point each way, 16 to 1. Uh, Oakland in the 5.25 tomorrow. Uh, some bookmakers are playing five places. So, if he, I mean, if he runs anywhere near his flat form in Germany, he, like he should nearly win. Now, I'm not saying he'll win, but it should, it should, in a race like that, you should be in the first five. Anyway, so, right, that's him. And at three o'clock at Mark Raisin, uh, the, this is my nap of the day. It's called Gro, uh, Go On Brycey Lad. He's three to one at the moment. He was seven to two. 
he's gone into three to one now. I think that's still a good price. Uh, I think he'll go a bit shorter. There is one bit of a danger in it. Uh, Billy's Angel. She's a bit quirky, but she has ability, so she'd be a danger. But the rest of them are not great. Like and third favorite, Shady Ladder, whatever you call him, is like I've more gears than him, and I don't have too many gears now. I can tell you so. Um, yeah, go on, Bryce Lad. He's only a five year old, and he's running running against mainly uh, exposed rivals. Uh, thought the last running last day his running fast last was very good. He jumped very well in the main, but he ploughed through the second last. He tried to bring the second last home with him. And uh, that stopped his momentum. And uh, he still kept that fairly well. Now, he's inexperienced. So, we're not going to go mad. We're going to, you know, we have, we got a few quid today. So, we're going to hold on to it. And uh, we're just going to go for a two-point win on him. Uh, go on, Bryce, lad. So, I think, if you know, if he jumps well, gets a clear round, uh, he should be banned there. But, uh, as I said, we've got a few quid and we'll hold on to it. So, that's my Sunday selections. So, uh, thanks a million for the kind comments, by the way. Uh, the support is, is fantastic. And, you know, the, the nice comments are uh, very much appreciated. We'll keep working hard to try and get you the few winners. Don't worry about that. All right, over and out for Cold Bear Sports, Joe Value.